The prehistoric relatives of crocodilians, the crocodilomorphs, were once far more diverse than today. One of the most unique was Anatosuchus minor, who prowled along the edges of the rivers and wetlands of early Cretaceous North Africa. Its name means small duck crocodile, in reference to how its broad, flat snout resembled the bill of a duck. Two specimens of the duck croc have been found, both of which are from the country of Niger. Although it is now desert, during Anatosuchus' time, this area consisted of warm but humid wetlands. It coexisted with a number of often larger dinosaurs. These included the semi-aquatic herbivore Lordiosaurus and the fish-eating spinosaurid Suchomimus. These waters were also home to the larger crocodilomorph Sarcosuchus. The holotype is a skull belonging to a juvenile, while the second specimen is a much more complete adult skeleton. The fully grown Anatosuchus is estimated to have been less than one meter long, which is smaller than any modern crocodilian. Like many other land crocs, its long limbs were held in a straighter, more erect position than the semi-erect stance of true crocodilians. This meant the duck croc was much more adept at terrestrial locomotion. Its forefeet were also well developed compared to most other land crocs, which may have aided the duck croc when digging. As for its famous snout, it was the juvenile specimen that gave Anatosuchus its name. The adult skull turned out to be even longer and wider, increasing its duck-like visage. An unusual feature preserved in the adult skull is a small, pointed protuberance at the end of its otherwise round snout. Although the duck croc might have looked cute, its mouth was filled with hooked, recurved teeth, indicating a carnivorous diet. Much like the platypus, Anatosuchus's duck-like snout was the result of convergent evolution. This is when two unrelated animals independently evolve a similar trait. However, evolutionary convergence is also partially behind Anatosuchus's crocodile-like appearance. Crocodilian skulls have become flatter to reduce the resistance they create as they swim through the water. Anatosuchus was a notosuchian, a clade of fully terrestrial crocodilomorphs whose deep skulls did not closely resemble those of crocodilians. So ironically, when Anatosuchus's skull became flatter and more duck-like, it also became more like its crocodilian cousins. It should be noted that although Anatosuchus has been referred to as a land croc, its food primarily came from the water, so it would have technically qualified as a semi-aquatic animal. However, the duck croc did not hunt like a crocodilian. Instead, it likely stood in shallow water and dug through the muddy substrate with its feet and the protuberance at the end of its snout. Once it found something, Anatosuchus would quickly close its jaws, with their white shape offering its quarry a little chance of escape. Likely prey would have included amphibians, invertebrates, and small fish. Unlike crocodilians, Anatosuchus was still much more comfortable on land than in the water. Overall, herons are a better modern analog for the duck croc than ducks or crocodiles are. It can also be seen as a smaller, crocodilomorph equivalent to the contemporary spinosaurid dinosaurs. A major difference is that while these species relied on precision, Anatosuchus instead trapped its food with its wide gape. Within Notosuchia, Anatosuchus belongs to the smaller clade Uruguay Suchidae. The specialized duck croc is an outlier among its kin. The other Uruguay Suchids, the namesake Uruguay Suchus, and numerous species of Araripe Suchus were terrestrial generalists. Curiously, some proposed evolutionary trees have found that some species of Araripe Suchus were more closely related to Anatosuchus than they were to each other. If true, this would mean the duck croc was directly descended from a member of the Araripe Suchus genus. Corrobating this, Anatosuchus coexisted with Araripe Suchus winogari, the very species it was most closely related to. Intriguingly, Araripe Suchus was a genus otherwise exceptionally evolutionarily conservative, 
even when compared to crocodilians. It first evolved several million years before the duck croc, and a species of Araripesuchus was still around right to the very end of the Cretaceous period, 45 million years later. The duck croc shows that just because a body plan is remarkably enduring, it doesn't mean that it isn't also capable of rapid and radical change. Although the tiny Anatosuchus lived in the shadows of numerous titanic dinosaurs, it stands out as one of the strangest creatures of its time. It is a striking example of convergent evolution, the evolutionary extremes Crocodilomorpha is capable of, and how bizarre life forms in general can be. The duck croc also hints at even more weird and extraordinary species waiting to be found under the North African deserts. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something interesting. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to hit the like button and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Finally, be sure to have a great day.